is a wish list, not a to get list. Whew. Natasha Denona, the Natasha Denona meta. Yeah, my hair is like acting up today. Oh well. Oh. Man, my camera is dying. I'll be back. everyone this is gonna be my Sephora holiday VIB sale wish list video I just want to show you things that I'm interested in and I just want to tell you this is a wish list not a real list because there's a lot of high ticket items on this list that I probably will not end up getting but a girl can dream so I'm going to share my wish list with you and I hope you guys comment down below some things that you guys are interested in getting some things that you think I should get let me know down in the comment section down below let's get started this is not in any particular category or order I'm just going to start with the first um little screenshot that I have on my phone. The first thing on my list is the Natasha Denona Metropolis eyeshadow palette. I'll put pictures of these up above. I think this is super cute. I'm having a green moment and it has a lot of greens. It has neutrals of course, a pop of blue, a pop of cranberry. I think this is a beautiful palette. I do not own anything Natasha Denona. So I like this palette and I also like her Biba palette, but I feel like I have a lot of palettes that look like the Biba palette, but I'm a neutrals girl. So if I was gonna try anything, I probably should get the Biba palette because that's what I would use majority of. But um, moving on, I want to try the the new Natasha Denona nude lipsticks. I like the color Sammy. I haven't swatched this in store, so I don't know if that'll work for me. But Sammy is a medium warm beige that looks really pretty. I also want to try the Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder. Um, I Like I said, I haven't swatched this in store, so I don't know if this will work for me. The shade Deep, it's a, a deep brown. If any of you are my complexion and you've used this product, let me know if it'll show up on someone of my skin tone. Next, the Pat McGrath Labs Blitz Quads. Um, I want the Holiday Quad in Iconic Illumination. It has berries, browns, golds, and champagnes. It's just a four quad. Um, this looks pretty. There's two, two quad, there's two quads, I believe, but this is the one that I would like to, um, get. I also would like to try the Pat McGrath Labs Mini Matte Lipstick Trios. Um, I want both of them. They look I don't have a lipstick by Pat McGrath. I want to get a full size one. Plus I want to get these, um, both of these sets. There's like a neutral and then there's like a red berry one. And I would like to get both. Next, I would also like to get the Pat McGrath last mini lust set. It is a, uh, two sets of glosses, more pink and then more neutral. Um, I want both of them. They're $25 and the, um, Lipstick Trio is also $25. The Pat McGrath Eyeshadow Quad is $65. Next on my wish list is the Pat McGrath Labs Powder. I think I want to get the shade Medium 3. I'm not sure. I'm dangling between that one and the deeper one. Next thing on my list is from Milk Cosmetics. I have not ever tried anything from Milk Cosmetics, but there's been two things that I've been interested in. I like the, um, I've always wanted to try the Dark Matter um, uh, eyeshadow palette and the Gemini palette, but then I saw the Impulsive Press Pigment palette, and it has the colors from the Dark Matter like it looks the colors that I'm interested in anyways from the dark matter palette and the colors that I'm interested in from the Gemini palette look to be in this palette. So I feel like I would love those greens, the berry shades, and then they have a side of shimmer. I think those shimmers are everything that you could need to make a look. So I'm interested in trying that. Next, 
I want to get the So de Janeiro Bum Bum Carnival Celebration set. It comes with the um, Boom Boom Cream, the hand cream, the shower gel, and the body mist. So, and it's $59. Next on my list is the Laneige Kiss Me All Day um, set. It's uh, three of the lip treatments in the squeeze tube form. I have the lip sleeping mask in the jar, but I don't have the squeeze tube ones. And I thought this would be good to break up as gifts or just for me to throw in my purse. It's $35 and it's limited edition. The next on my list is the Peter Thomas Roth Masquerade Mask um, set. It has one, two, three, four, five of his masks in a mini form, and I want to try a few of those. That's only $19. The next kit that I want to get is the the Kiehl's Must Have Mini Mask Set. It's $32. I have never tried anything from Kiehl's and I love masks, so I thought this would be um, a good thing to pick up. It is $32 and I thought that was a reasonable price, plus you get the 20 or 15% off. The next on my list is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I really, really like this. Um, I think I missed it from my skincare um, routine, so I'm going to incorporate it. This is something that I'm definitely going to pick up. Um, I want the 1.7 ounce, which is $158. The next thing on my wish list is the Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM. It's a retinol um, serum for nights, and I'm thinking about picking that up. It is $65. The next thing I want to get is the o Ole Hendrickson Dark Spot Toner. I, You know I love that, and I'm just replenishing it. So I probably will get this, but then I have the next on my wish list is the, the Tarte Knock knockout tingling treatment toner it's $39 um this has really good reviews so I don't know which one to get since I've already tried the Ole Hendrickson one I'm thinking about trying the knockout one from Tarte but the Ole Hendrickson one is $28 and the Tarte one is $39 so price is also something that I'm struggling with <clears throat> Next is the Clinique ID Custom Lynn Hydrating Collection. I am running out of my moisturizer from Clinique, so I'm thinking I'm going to get the oil control, oil control gel and the cartridge for pores and uneven texture. So I'm thinking about getting that, and that is $39. The next is the Green Clean Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I am almost out of mine, but I saw this limited edition, Very Cherry Clean. Um, it's $34, and I'm thinking about picking that up as well. The next thing on my list is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I got a sample of this and really, really enjoyed it. The shade that I got was Warm Peach, and it is $40. So I'm thinking about picking that up. The next foundation that I'm interested in, but I haven't gotten a sample of it yet, is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. This looks super full coverage, and it's a reasonable price. It is priced at $36, so I'm interested in that as well. Next on my list is the Charlotte Tilbury Powder in the shade three it's $45 and I've been lusting after this powder for a long time so I'm pretty sure I will pick this one up also on my wish list is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush for airbrush flawless Longwear foundation I have not gotten a sample of this yet so I need to pick one up so I can see if this is worth it, but it looks like something that I'm interested in. Her other foundation did not work for me because I have combination oily skin. So I'm seeing if this will work. That's why I put it on my wish list. Next is also from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Holly, Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, I think this is like a primer of some sort. I'm not sure. Um, this is flashing. Hold on. 
All right, I'm back. My camera keeps trying to quit on me. I don't know if it got the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. It's more of like, I don't know, it's supposed to be a filter. I don't want to call it a primer, but I think that's like in the same realm of what it is, but I would put it like on the high points of my face to give me that illumination and kind of filter out some of the texture that I have on my face. But anyways, yes, that's also on my wish list. That's $44 and I picked the shade 7 Deep. No, 7 Dark. The next thing on my wish list is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I have not um, swatched this or anything like that. I see a lot of people like it, but I don't know if it's going to be deep enough for my skin tone. They only have two shades, so I would pick the medium dark, and it costs $38. Next is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Lip Stunna Mini Longwear Fluid Lip Color. It's a limited edition shade in underdog it's a deep burgundy this looks really pretty i think this is festive and i like that it's mini because it's really hard to go through a full-size lipstick if you have a pretty decent size collection and that's why i'm shopping my stash i filmed this makeup look and it's all things that i had in my collection that weren't new so i'm trying well some are new the lip color was new I think that's the only thing new. Oh, and the bronzer that I used today was new. But those are the only two new things that I used. Everything else were things that I had in my collection that I needed to pull out because I have a lot of things in my collection that I'm not using. Anyways, that was a little rant. But yes, the Fenty, the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Lip Stunna Mini Longwear Fluid Lip Color in Underdog is $15. And I will definitely be picking that up if it's in stock. The next thing is also from Fenty Beauty. It's the glossy, um, it's the gloss bomb set. It has four of her um, gloss bombs in there. I believe it's limited edition and it's $42. The next thing also is Fenty Beauty. It's a matchstick. It's in the shade Espresso. It's $25. I'm not a cream contour girl, but I really want to work on it because I normally do everything with powder. So I did get the um, Anastasia color, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, foundation stick to contour with but it's more like a bronzing for me so I need something a little bit deeper so I'm thinking ex espresso would work for me but I'm not sure and that's $25 if I didn't already say the next thing there is a theme here <laughs> the next thing that's on my wish list is the tantor contour and bronze cream by huda beauty and i would get the shade medium it's 30 dollars this reminds me of the chanel um bronzer the cream bronzer that they don't make in my shade how dare them but I like this and medium what I've sh I've swatched this and medium works for me and I'm a deep girl so I really think that that's reasonably priced and I definitely want to pick that up but I don't know if I will the next thing on my wish list is the Sephora collection pro core diffuser brush number 94 it is um, $36 and you can use this for powder or foundation. I would probably use it for, um, foundation, but there was a Smashbox, um, brush that looked the same. And I think that's a little bit more expensive. So I don't know if I'm going to get the Smashbox brush or this one, but I don't think they have this, um, Smashbox brush at Sephora. I didn't find any of those, but I'm interested in those brushes too. If anybody has tried that, let me know down below. The next um, thing on my wish list is the Sephora Collection Pro Sculpting Blush Brush in number 99. It's $32. I like the shape of this brush, so yeah, that's on my wish list. I like to put more higher end brushes in my collection because I have a lot of affordable brushes. I have a lot of expensive brushes, but I mostly use my affordable brushes, so I want to incorporate some of those in my collection. And I think the last brush that I have is the Sephora Collection Pro Precision Powder Brush in number 59. It's $38. Okay. The next thing on my list is the YSL Mon Paris um, 
perfume. I think that is a beautiful scent. Um, it's $97 for the 1.6 ounce. It is beautiful. It's hard for me to describe scents, but that is also on my wish list. The next thing, the next few items on my wish list are hair and it's by Moroccan Oil. I have the Luminous Hairspray in Medium Hold, that's $24. I have the Moroccan oil treatment in the 1.7 ounce. That's $34. I do use this. This is already in my collection, but I'm running out. So I might pick this up in a bigger size. The next one is also from Moroccan oil. It's the dry scalp treatment. I have really dry scalp, especially in the fall and winter months. So I'm thinking about picking this up for the 1.5 ounce. It's $38. And the next thing that I got from Moroccan Oil on my wish list is the Glimmer and Shine. It's like a shine spray and it, it's $28 and it's 3.4 ounces. I really like that. I don't own this, but I use the treatment as a finisher and I'm thinking maybe I should use it, use the Glimmer and Shine as the finisher because it's like a shine spray. The next thing that I have on my wish list is the PMD Clean Smart Facial Cleansing Device. I really like this. I wanted to do the Florio one, I believe, but I like this one because it has a handle. So this one's $99 and I like the color blush. So I'm thinking about picking that up. The next thing on my wish list is by Kaja. It's the looking like a snack must have collection. I like that name. Um, it comes with full size items, I believe. It has a highlighter brush and a eyeshadow trio and a lipstick or a lip gloss. I'm not sure what that is. It's $39 and I don't have the uh, trio that they have in here and I haven't tried a blush or a highlighter or a lip from them, but I do enjoy the trio that I already have, so that is also on my wish list. The next thing on my wish list is the Sephora Collection Hashtag Lash Story False Lash Set. I have two of the, um, two out of the four pairs that they have in this set. It's $28, but I don't have the Sahara or the other lash, I'm not quite sure the name, but I know I like the Sephora Hashtag Lashes, so this is on my wish list and it's only $28, which I think is a good deal. The next thing on my list is also a Sephora Collection Lash Set in Celebrate. It's $45. They have more of dramatic, they have a lot more dramatic styles in this one. And I think it has one, two, three, four, five, six, like six pairs of lashes if I'm not mistaking. And it has a eyelash glue and it's $45. That's all I had on my wish list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below any recommendations that you have for me or tell me what you guys are interested in picking up. Um, I will do a haul if I get anything and if I don't, I'll tell you that too. I also filmed this look like I said. Um, uh, it's just a get ready with me. It's not a tutorial. I feel like everyone kind of already has a feel for the way they like to put on their makeup. So this is how I put on my makeup, but I just want to show you the products that I'm using and you might like to use some of these products in your my complexion or face shape and you want to see how it works. So I filmed to get ready with me. I also am going to be uploading a second channel hopefully next week. Um, I've been vlogging but on my cell phone but I feel like vlogs don't do very well on this channel so I'm going to make a separate channel for vlogging, lifestyle, health, wellness, um, self-help for mothers or just a, any woman struggling, that's going to be my second channel. So if you are interested in that kind of thing, don't worry, that channel is coming soon. All right, guys, like thumbs up this video, subscribe if you already aren't subscribed, hit the bell to be notified when I upload a video and stay blessed. Bye.